Hey guys, how are you doing? Thanks for coming to the channel. Uh, I'm going to try and do a bit more content, uh, just in general. Um, you know, when I get a lightsaber finished for a customer, I'm thinking what I might do is I might actually just show you the finished lightsaber. So the very first one I'm going to show you, and with great pride, it is my pleasure to present the Sith Stalker. This is such, such a nice hilt. Uh, I think it's one that doesn't get anywhere near the... Um, the amount of tension that it should do, because it is so nice. It takes a very long time to make, but let me show you the emitter. Look at this emitter, guys. I mean, all this is made from solid aluminium. Well, this was a, a tube that I got, and then this was made from solid aluminium. Cut down on the mill by myself, uh, and you get this unbelievably super shiny, gorgeous emitter. Uh, the font prongs go all the way up here for about two or three inches, and it's just, it is just such a nice, really nice saber. You've got this jet black shiny uh, main body and you have these, uh, well how many is it? One, two, three, four. You have these five ribs which actually fit perfectly between your fingers so it's very very comfortable and it finishes off with this again lovely shiny pommel. I mean to be honest um, it's one I did a while ago, a customer asked me for it uh, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll make this. And I have fallen in love with this hill ever since. Every single time, every single time, I get to make one of these. And it gets to this stage in the process where it's finished. I mean, look at the light just bouncing off and shining off this incredibly nice polished up silver uh, on the... Uh, on the handle, but every single time, on his hand on heart, God's on his truth, every single time I get to this point where the saber is finished, I always look at it and go, damn that is so nice. It is such a nice hilt. Um, and I always want to keep it, every single time. Every, I, I do a lot of different sabers here, four sabers, but every single time I finish one of these, Every single one, I wish I could keep it. I have never made one of these for myself, ever. I've never had one in my collection. And to be honest, I don't really have a collection. So, you know, I need to start working on that. I really do. Uh, and there's a load of lightsabers I want to do. I've got a great one coming up for you soon, guys. You're going to love it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just another good look at that. Just, just look at that. Oh, it is so nice. I, sh I just love this emitter and these prongs on it. It oh, and it blends straight into the uh, the switch, all the way down. There's, there's not one single aspect of this hilt that I don't find unbelievably appealing. Uh, from the vents in the windows, let me turn it on for you. Hang on. Got a nice aqua blue going on here, but you get you got the light. You've got the light going in through the uh, through the vents there, and through the rivets, and it's just you know, it's such a nice saber. Uh, you got as you know, this is running a Xeno Pixel V2, but now guys, uh, any orders from now have the Xeno Pixel V3. The V3 is now going to be in any saber from now on that you order. So if you order one from today, it will be a V3 that you'll get in there. And that means you can actually do a lot of the things to the lightsaber from your mobile phone on the app. Okay, now that is a huge, huge increase in upgrade. Um, but, oh, I, I, just, I just love this help. I, I always, I don't like whole touching it, it sounds really bad, it's like that magpie thing, I love shiny things and I hate touching it because then you get fingerprints on it, I'm like, oh I need to get off the fingerprints, you know, give it a quick buff and try and get rid of them, but yeah, uh, I just, I just, I just really wanted to get more videos out there of, of what these things are like, uh, this is from here to, so from, uh, from here to here, um, is uh, 11 inches, so you've got an 11, in 11 inch hilt. Um, you could you could possibly use this as two-handed. Actually, yeah, I mean, if I've got, I haven't got the biggest hands myself, I've got quite small hands, but I can get two hands around that easily. Um, you could hold it around here, run the risk of getting fingerprints on it. But, yeah, I mean, it's so nice. It's a, one of the very few that every single time I finish it, I'm like, oh. 
because it comes together, it's, it's bizarre. You have to make all these parts and then right at the very end, it just all comes together really quickly. And you just then like, wow, that's just absolutely gorgeous. So, hope you like the video. Uh, if you haven't seen this Sabre, go to my website, check it out. It is so nice. It's got a really nice weight. It's about 500, about five, I don't know. Maybe about 800 grams, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it's it's got a really nice weight. And it's just, it's just such a lovely saber, guys. It really is. But thanks for checking out the video. I will see you, uh, I'll see you next time.